Hey guys, thanks for tuning into Syntec channel. My name is Chad. In this tutorial, you are going to write your first C program. Now to begin with, I assume that you already have code block installed on your machine. If you do not have it, check in the description box. There is a tutorial that takes you into the process of installing code block in your computer or laptop. Okay, so once you are set, let's go files, new project. Now what you're going to do here, you're going to create a console application. You hit go, then you select a C program. Then you notice I've already got a project folder that is created. Now if you do not have a project folder, all you have to do is to click on the three dot here and find a location in your computer. As you can see, I already have a folder in my C drive here. So you just create a new folder and you select it and you're good to go. So the next thing is just to give a name for your project. So I said, hello, Simtech. You can give it a name that you'd like. And then you click next. You leave everything as it is. The compiler is a GCC compiler that we are using. Then you say finish. Then a program will pop up here. You click on main, double click on main. And here we are. Congratulations. You just created your first C program. Okay. But now the takeaway in this tutorial is we're going to go through every line in this program. So they are nine lines. Okay. Now the first line is the C processor include. And it is including what? It's including STD IO. STD stand for standard, not STD of a sexually transmitted disease, but standard input output. What it means is this guy here, the STD IO is going to be handling your input output. So inside here, you've got a scan F and a print F function. So scan F will take the input from your keyboard and the print F will display you an output. Then you have a second line also an include with std lub now here is where you find most of the c library like math library all sort of c library okay now i've got a tutorial in my channel that explain how you can build and create your own library it's a good tutorial you can check it out then you come line three there is absolutely nothing this is just for the presentation of the program then line four is the int man this is where your program start Every time you run a C program, it starts by main. You can have all sorts of functions there, but the main functions is where everything starts. Now notice inside the main function, we've got the printf. Now, if this printf was not defined inside the SDI, we would have created a function here, call it printf. Then our mains would call it. Okay? Now the print function, what it does is it display something in your output. As always, it is important to always write comment on your C program. It's important. Why? Because later on, if someone else wants to debug your program and there are no comments, they're going to have a difficult task. But if there are comments, it makes it easier to figure out what was happening, what is happening in the program. So here you're just going to write, just say this line. This line display the string in the in the quotation just like that then you have a line 7 line 7 is returning 0 return 0 means the functions have executed well if the function return a 1 that means there was a problem and if you want to check out the problem just remove this line here comment it out or remove it remove it completely what will happen is this will not execute because there is no function printf but by including the sdio we are locating it inside there and then you have line 8 we close the, the braces then always end the project with a new line a program with a new line so this is it now the next thing to do here is to run your program just click there and let the compiler do its things the compiler will compile your program 
so it will assemble it and package it into machine code. There is your program. It says hello world, exactly as we wrote it inside the quotation there. But you can modify this program to display something else, like you can put your name in there. So I'm putting Simtech, and I'm going to run it again. And we have our output, hello Simtech. So congratulations for writing your first C program. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to SimTech channels. Stay tuned for more advanced tutorial. Until next time, cheers.